Hello, so this raptor section is uh, a great way to look at the major organ systems in a mammal. Um, we can't always do, obviously, uh, larger mammals in school, but you can get a rat and you can see pretty much all the major organ systems that you would do on a human. Okay, so the first thing to do with your rat is uh, to pin it out on the board um, lying on its back. Now, if it's a preserved rat like this one, then that can be quite hard because the rat itself is quite stiff. So you are going to have to probably break some bones, which you might be able to hear cracking when I push the legs and arms down. And you can use some of these pins to pin it down. The rat is pinned down and we might be able to adjust those later if we need to. So what we want to try and do is open up through the abdomen and the thorax and uh, expose where the organs are in those two areas of the rat. So to do that we're going to use the scissors and we're just going to cut in down here towards the anus at the bottom and slowly cut up the middle of the rat. And we'll just cut sort of the skin, the fur, and we'll be able to peel that back from the actual muscle wall in a minute. Don't push too deep, because that's when you might damage the organs underneath. And then you're going to cut down diagonally to each limb. Okay, and then we can start to, using the scalpel, just peel off that the fur layer. And then we are going to cut through, like I said, this layer of, of uh, skin and muscle to expose the organs. We can use scissors for that. And we can just then just flap that back as well. Now, up here, start to reach the bottom of the rib cage. And you don't want to cut into that at this point. We want to try and expose that in a minute. So when you get to the rib cage, just cut along the edge. So, now that we've uh, opened up the abdomen, what we'll focus on first is the thorax. So up here you can see the rib cage, and actually just underneath that, uh, we can see that there's a diaphragm just underneath here, which is sealing the whole thorax uh, to allow for ventilation for the movement uh, of, the, of the lungs uh, for gases exchange. So what we'll do is we will now cut open the rib cage right up the sternum here. Okay, so then we can see inside there. All right, in the middle, we've got a lovely heart. We'll cut that out in a minute, just there. And this is the right lung, uh, which you can see in three lobes. And here is the left lung, which seems to have sort of tucked itself behind the heart there. So that's our rib cage there. Okay, now we'll remove the lungs and the heart. So here is our rat heart. A little atria on the top. There's the two atria. There's one there, one there, and this will be the ventricles of the heart. 
and we should be able to just slice that open as well. You can't see much inside there. It's quite compact, but it, could be, it should be able to just show that that's the chamber inside the heart there. All right, next thing is the lungs. Now these are nice, soft tissue here. You can see how delicate the lungs are, which is why you obviously need the rib cage to protect them. That's one half of the lung tissue there. On the right side, here is the left side there. And they will obviously inflate to fill up the entire thorax cavity during inhalation. Just cut out the diaphragm, a thin layer of muscle which contracts and flattens to increase the volume in the thorax which lowers the pressure to allow movement to move in. There's our nice diaphragm muscles, very thin but strong sheet of muscle that goes underneath the lungs. Okay, so we've now got the back of the rib cage, but what we've exposed here is this tube. Okay, this tube is the esophagus, which is going to be taking the food that the rat swallows down and into the digestive system. This large organ here is the liver. The liver is in many lobes and it takes up a lot of space. So we're going to be removing the liver. That's our next job. You can just see how big the liver is as an organ, how much space it's taken up, absolutely huge. Okay, but now we can start to see a bit more of the digestive system. See the esophagus here going through the diaphragm, coming out the other side, looping round into this organ here, which is our stomach. Stomach then moves out into the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum, which is here, where a lot of the enzymes are added. So the duodenum then goes into the major part of the small intestine, which is the ileum, which is used for absorption. And that is shown maybe best by this part here. This is part of the small intestine. And this thin membrane here is called the mesentery, which is what kind of bundles in and brings all that intestine together and keeps it together. Um, it's it all coiled up there, we can see it, all highly coiled by that mesentery. So if we start to pick away at that mesentery, we should be able to uncoil the rest of the digestive tract and just see how long that is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just detach the this from uh, the esophagus and the stomach and everything from the back of the of the rat as best as possible, trying to keep it together all in one big loop so that we can see the entire digestive tract. Okay, so now we've got it away from the posterior wall. You can start just you can do this with your fingers. You don't need to actually the mesentery is so fragile, you can just start to break that membrane and to start to uncoil the small intestine, which is actually very, very long, but it's just the small intestine, as opposed to the large intestine due to more its diameter. It's a smaller diameter. So there we go. So we've got the esophagus leading into the stomach and it goes into the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum, and into the ileum, which is where all the absorption happens. This huge long tube. And then it goes into the uh, large intestine, which is the colon. We can see some feces already that's, be, that's in here at the moment. Uh, and that is usually coiled around the outside of the small intestine, which is in the middle and that large intestine is where the water absorption happens. And we can see um, the feces that's being stored up in here. And we move all the way down to the end of the tube, which will 
uh, come out of the anus down here. Okay, so what else can we see? Well, now we've exposed the, the real, the back of the rat, we can see the urinary system a little bit. We can see the two kidneys. Okay, so there's a, uh, the right kidney here, slightly higher than the left kidney. Um, you can sort of make out some vessels going into them. And we can see the two ureters coming down from each kidney, which is gonna carry the urine, which will collect in the bladder. Okay, so probably the last thing to try and have a look at is the brain. Uh, obviously to do that, we're gonna to have to uh, get the head. So the first thing to do is to chop the head off, decapitate the rat. There we go. And actually even the cross section there, I haven't cut it off quite far enough down. We can actually see a bit of the brain exposed right there at the back, but we'll try and cut uh, open the, the top of the skull to see that brain. So what we do is again, just get the scissors, cut down the front of the rat, down towards the nose, peel back some of that skin. And we'll be able to see the, the skull. And you can actually see that the skull is so thin that you can actually see the brain just through the skull, if I just get rid of that little bit, sort of membrane. You can actually see the brain in there, the cerebrum. There, so we can just again use some scissors just to cut along there. It's so thin, it's easily cuttable with some scissors. And just peel that back. And there we go. Okay, the left and the right hand side of the brain. And we should be able to just get that out. There we go. That's the base of the brain. Obviously pretty small. Okay, so that's a basic rat dissection. Like I said, it's fantastic because we've been able to see some of the respiratory system with the lungs, the cardiovascular system with the little heart. We've got the uh, digestive system, fantastic to be able to see the length here of the, of the small and the large intestine, and the, the digestive tract, um, along with the accessory organs of digestion like the liver there. We've got the ribs and the thorax. And the urinary system inside at the back, see the size of the kidneys and the ureters coming down, and finally uh, the rat brain.